Welcome to the CFG Gamecast episode number 13, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on Saturdays and we release uh, po- uh, we release it on podcast services such as Apple and Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Podbean. So show us some love and follow us on one of our Twitch channels to uh, and not to not miss an episode. You can either follow us on uh, with Smitty's channel, uh, Smitty two four four seven, or Sesh's channel, Review Sesh, or m- me, Mister CFG himself, Davis Green on CFG Games. So once again, I'm uh, with the <coughs> a group of fellow gamers. Uh, got a huge gamer with me on the other side in Cali, just chill, chilling, uh, chilling with us as always. AKA the backlog queen. I got Sesh Evans on the on the second seat. How are you doing? Hi, doing pretty good. Ready to catch up with some of that backlog and settle in. Yeah, you, you and I both know that's never going to happen. But <laughs> <laughs> I remember you were like the other day you were the, when you were talking about trying to figure out how to stream on PS3. That's how I know it's never going to happen. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm seriously, I bought the cable you recommended, so guys, I'm going to be streaming PS3 games now. Hell oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, you know, all the technology in the front, and then all of a sudden it's like, nope, we got, uh, we got, we're, you're going backwards. It's like, because you just it's need to keep up. all the technology up. in the front so that we can go backwards. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. So what, you, what have you been up to? Uh, well, settling in, I'm kind of in the process of moving, so I'm a little bit of a nomad right now. Started working full time, and then I got a uh, GoFundMe project I am filming next weekend, and then you're going to be hearing all about that every week, probably, for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's always going to be fun to uh, pimp your <laughs> pimp your idea out for the world to try to yeah. participate. So uh, I'm always about pimping my ideas. That's the one that's going to be out next week. Uh, last week, as you, you told me about, you saw the cheese video. I'm starting to do that series as well, so I'm making sure to stay busy on all of my off time and just really not actually have off time or time to sleep that's my goal good deal. <laughs> yeah that's the goal perfect goal all right and i have the five star general of the itty bitty smitty committee i got Sid smitty on the third seat how are you doing buddy uh i've been bad <laughs> a little <laughs> under the weather uh, my throat is killing me. Uh, we think I have uh, pharyngitis, uh, so my throat is super. It feels. It literally feels like every time I take, like I swallow or anything, it feels like somebody's stabbing me in the throat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to speak as loud as I can without uh, straining, straining my voice. Uh, but other than that, um, it's it's been okay. I've been getting some games in. I know that we. I'm gonna always go back to Anthem. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, before you go into that, before you go into that, just okay. quick question: Are you saying pharyngitis or laryngitis? Pharyngitis. What's the pharyngitis? Di- what's the difference? So it's lower in your throat, and it's basically just a inflammation of that lower part of your throat. Um, I'm not, I mean, other than, other than the sore throat, like I feel fine. Uh, my head's a little congested and so it's kind of hard for me to hear, mm-hmm. but, uh, yeah, it's really, really weird. Cause I was taking medications and nothing was helping. So I was like, all right, man, something, this ain't, this isn't like a, a cold or the flu or anything. Uh, you know, so I had to go in and had to go do the, do the thing, you know? Oh man. I am sorry that you're feeling that way. Hopefully, uh, you, you get through that real fast. Uh, uh, yeah. But you were saying something about, uh, you, you were saying something about Anthem. Yeah. So just <laughs> real quick. So obviously when we've talked about it, you guys know that I really want to see Anthem succeed. They recently came out or they haven't come out with the cataclysm yet, but they put it up on the PTS. Excuse me. So I said, all right, I'm going to go. And let me let me download that. Let me check it out. So I downloaded it the other day. I went to go play it. And every time you know I go in, I load in. I'm loading into the Cataclysm, and it keeps dropping me with an error that it can't load my player data. So I actually have not even had a chance uh, to play it yet. So I don't know if anybody else is having uh, that issue. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing it's maybe just me. Maybe I just need to delete it and reinstall it. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, but it's uh, it's definitely a little frustrating. Again, with a game that's already been frustrating people, uh, you know, having something like this on top of it is just like I just want to walk away and say I'm, I'm done with you. 
it's really hard to really kind of say anything else that anything more negative about anthem but then again it's like but uh in, in its course though let's say that it's it could be a ptr issue though in itself so but the the what's annoying is that that it sometimes happens in the regular on the regular surf because you ever like sometimes you can get inside the game and then you look like you're about to start it but then it just kicks you out for no reason so yeah, it's uh, yeah, uh, that, yeah, that, and I mean, me, I mean, I'm not usually a fond, uh, fond, like I don't usually like going on PTR because it's not as like you know stable for the most part to me, or I've I've had the worst luck with with, the, with that stuff too, so uh, I just go with uh, yeah, so I'll just go with the uh, uh yeah, I, I, it just sucks. I mean, it really does suck. It's like if you're really trying to give it a bone and that stuff always happens with it you just go back to square one it's it, it's good but it's like it, it there's issues with it <laughs> exactly uh, well that sucks uh okay well anyways and uh, i know i've just been uh i've been just messing around with bloodstain like crazy i've just been like loving that metrovania like game and uh totally hyped on it i'm surprised because i usually hate i'm not a big fan of kickstarter because i feel kickstarter kind of usually kind of screws people over <laughs> not mm-hmm. it's not it's not kickstarter's fault but i will say that it's not i feel like it they, they, that they do instigate these kind of things to happen so like uh, and especially in gaming with kickstarter gaming i will say though this game is actually pretty solid for a kickstarter game so i i uh I, i'm definitely definitely enjoying it uh and uh, all the different kinds of things in it i'm only like 30 percent in so we'll see but uh anyways let's get into it uh will uh each of us chooses a uh we each choose a uh, pick a topic of a discussion from with the video games from the previous week the topic could or should be something about a specific game or something that happened in the gaming industry itself as a whole uh but we'd also want the listeners on on twitch or also just either uh, on twitch to be interactive so just definitely either go to the top where it says cfg gamecast put in uh put in a topic that you want us to discuss we will cho- we will choose it at the end of the uh, end of the session or and or somebody will also keep an eye out on the chat to see uh see what pe- what the chat chat's like and uh, uh we'll we'll put something out there if it's something interesting so we'll definitely uh we'll be keeping up with that and you can also just go check it uh uh just set if you want to send something else you can go to our twitter the comic freak and uh we'll put we will post something here on a maybe a future episode or so so let's get to it uh let's see who you've done it you, you were first before so i won't do that to you smitty or or such i you know what i haven't done it i haven't done it myself for a long time so i will volunteer <laughs> i i will volunteer as tribute for this one uh <laughs> okay so this one uh i'm gonna be talking about you know it's funny i feel like this is gonna be an ea rag show <laughs> I didn't really feel like it's going to be, but uh, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, something that came up, that that came up uh, on on the thing that I was like, oh, that's that, that kind of sucks, but uh, I don't think that it's. I mean, it it makes sense, but at the same time, it sucks to see that someone. Uh, it sucks that 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 they're actually going to be doing it. So, um, uh, so I there was a there was an article uh, on comicbook.com about Star Wars: The Fallen uh, The Fallen Order. And uh, they were talking about uh, that uh, Disney themselves, uh, like Disney as the corporation, is a uh, uh, order censorship for some of the violence, uh, the violence to appease in the game. So the obvious violence that they're probably referring to is people using lightsabers and cutting off limbs and stuff like that. Uh, so they, uh, so in comparison, uh, so what they were showing you. Uh, uh, as part of some of the video in the uh, in the E3 compared to what you can do is going to be different. So uh, the only thing, uh, so from the article they were saying um, in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, you can't dismember enemies with your lightsaber unless they are spiders, droids, or anything not humanoid. Uh, and so in other words, basically humans. You can't you can't dismember humans. And uh, I like when I heard it at first I was kind of angry because I was like not not really like angry but I was like oh that kind of sucks but because like it's a lightsaber you want to have that feeling of like uh cauterizing like 
just boop, like swoop, just one swoop, but then you just take off a take off an arm or a leg or something because that's what a lightsaber does. But at the same time, I can kind of understand where they're coming from on this. On not the fact that it's also like it's that it's Disney, but also the fact that they were saying that. Uh, uh, that I mean that that they're trying to appease us for everybody to play. This isn't going to be like a, a this is they're not trying to make this a mature rated game. So so they so no one cares about the uh, about droids or 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 unfortunately spiders and stuff like <laughs> sp- spiders and stuff like that to to get to get attacked by it. But at the same time, it's like I was just like ah. Uh. I can understand where they're kind of coming from. I mean, there's a middle ground towards it. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to y'all and say that I'm upset that that I am, uh, that I'm disappointed in it, but, but you can kind of see where they're coming from. I mean, is that, what what would you, what do you, what do y'all think about that? Yeah. I mean, I think that's, (laughs) so it's funny because like, this isn't the first thing they've done that with, like censoring, uh, the star Wars, Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know if you guys remember, but they stopped manufacturing and there is no products at all anymore in existence that will ever be made um, that is Slave Leia now mm. that Disney owns them. Like, they are not they're not getting involved with that at all. So it's kind of the same thing. What I like about it, though, like, I mean, I think it's dumb both ways because, like, well, Star Wars doesn't need the violence like that. It doesn't add to it. So, like, yeah, it's fine that it's not there, whatever. But then also on the other end, it's like, you're changing it. This is the tone. This is that. So, like, it's dumb to change. People are already a fan of it. Like, this isn't going to be anyone's first media of Star Wars, most likely. Right. Like, they're already going to be a fan of the series if they're buying the game. Um, but but I'm, I'm okay with them, them doing that and moving forward with changing the tone. That, I feel like, is okay because we all know Star Wars can be edited backwards where they'll change it. <laughs> Post tense. Um, and so I, I'm very glad because they completely have all the power and ability to do that and all the money they would ever need to. And they're not. They're just doing it with stuff moving forward. Mm. Like they're not trying to re-release the original series where the slave Leia is digitally altered. So she's not wearing the same costume. They're not doing that. They're just not making new toys. That's is the fact that she's a slave or what she's wearing. I, it's. I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's a little yeah. bit of both for that very, when it comes very, to that. Very much both, I think. Um, and then you know she was like Disney princesses. You can't say I've been like sexualized, but like Slave Leia specifically is like. Do you know what <laughs> I? I will let me interject here for real quick. I love the fact that we're talking about gaming censorship and we just pivoted to Slave Leia. <laughs> like, it wasn't even like a gradual change. It was just a straight 90 degrees of just it's turn it to be thing, like, though. okay. They're doing the same <laughs> thing. They're just not, you know, moving forward. They're just not going to have this thing that has already been established in the series. Mm. And they're doing it to, you know, for younger audiences and to be more family friendly. Well, there's two things. I, oh, I get that. I'd, oh, go, sorry. No, no, go for it, Smitty. You haven't had your time. Like for, for me, I, you know, I mean, again, I understand it and I don't think it's going to change, you know, what we already love about the series. I'm fine with, you know, them altering that stuff or not having the violence in the game. You know, like you're saying, Sesh, it's not necessary. People that are fans of it, people that already love it are going to love it regardless. Uh the 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 whole slave Leia thing, you know that that one's kind of uh, I, I I understand that, and especially with Disney's image, you know they're they're what they're all about and stuff like that. Clearly, that is off brand um, from what they're about. But they're not going back and trying to digitally, you know, change it or or anything like that. But moving forward, you know, right. it's it's I, I, it's always interesting to me though when people try to, you know, you can't you're not going to be able to please everybody. We all know that, right? Um, so they're clearly trying to grab onto that younger audience. Again, you know, we had it, you know, when we were young, um, you know, we had the original series, this and that. So they're trying to kind of move forward. Uh, from there and you kind of have to you have to you know they're going to have to you know do their own I mean obviously they're depending 
tons of books and, and stuff like that, but they got to put their own stamp and their own, you know, how they feel it should go. And, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm always going to be a fan of the series, um, you know, and, and, and yeah, it, it's, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't you know, bother me. Do you know what the yeah. one thing is that I kind of have with this is that I understand that they're, that, uh, why they're doing it, but what doesn't make sense to me is like, uh, is, is like, how are they not like, like, because really this is the first Star Wars that that randomly got this like i mean that that randomly kind of gave them the limitation after the game was made you know <laughs> like it was kind of like uh because like i mean what was the most recent one that was uh that was standalone forces unleashed forces unleashed was all about like you know damage and uh you know destruction and stuff like that uh uh but they were told but they they designed they designed their schematic of what they were going to do it wasn't like a surprise to anyone that they were going to do it this way but it was it's weird that uh that disney kind of was like they came back after the game was done and then they said yeah there's too much lint, there's too much cutting in this uh you got to pull this out it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, in Mortal Kombat, somewhat like you, uh, the Ed Boon makes Mortal Kombat, and then they <laughs> decide to say, "Yeah, this is too gory. You need to not, you need to take the blood out of this." Like after the game yeah. was made, you know, it's, it's yeah, really that's weird. Super, yeah, that's super interesting because it's like one of those things. That's um, that's one of those things that's very. I don't know if you guys have or like any of our listeners or viewers have a lot of experience like working with like corporations, but that's absolutely one of the things that'll happen is like that note that. No, uh, like, okay, no limbs flying off of humanoid humans in this Star Wars game. Mm -hmm. That would have been so easy for them to give early on. And you know, they just didn't do it at all. Like, they never even thought of it. It was when they first saw it that, like, whoever was in charge of, you know, sending down those orders first saw it was like, oh, hey, that's violent. (laughs) We need to go in a different direction. And then... They had to, you know, and then it, it costs a lot of money to, you know, make changes like that. Like even just little things like there's, you know, hours that go into it. So it's just one of those like corporate oversight mistakes that like you see happen a lot in like corporate creative processes. Right. Right. So, I mean, uh, yeah, so it's good. You know, and you, know what, you know what the thing is? Like, it's like I feel like they're they know that they're going to have to ma- they're going to mask it by but maybe doing a like, you know, like a lightsaber streak or some sort of stream or something like that. So, like, it doesn't make a big deal. I just really wish that they kind of they didn't say, oh, at E3 when they saw the videos and then uh, when the video was 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 released and stuff like that. It's just like this is I mean, it's like y'all did this way too late to to be uh, to be complaining about this. So, yeah, uh, I don't like know. who was proving stuff before it being released to e3 like come on guys <laughs> this had to be someone's job <laughs> yeah well someone someone yeah someone kind of dropped the ball on that but yeah so at least at least I'm, so we're, i guess we're all, all on the same page like saying it's it sucks but at the same time it's understandable right yeah i think so as long as they're not changing stuff post retroactively that are bigger than this. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We're gonna call. We're gonna change. <laughs> we're gonna change the name for uh, called up Storm Battles instead of Star Wars. The next, the next, uh, the next trilogy or something. Empire sort of Strikes BS. Back with Luke's hand. Yeah. It's like no, he spiked it into a robot <laughs> hand already. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, right? It's like his hand turns into. It's like, but really, like they they retrocon it. Like when he loses his hand, you come to find out that it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's General <laughs> no, Grievous. No, no. They're like, oh no! No, even better. He gets like swatted at, and it's like my glove. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, it was just my glove you took off, not my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's funny. Well, uh, so Cowboy from the live stream says that um, you know Disney, you know Aladdin, for example, you know Princess Jasmine had a bunch of skin showing, and I feel like you know they've had uh, you know racist things that uh, that they've said we've talked about and stuff like that at Disney, so. I feel like they've really, you know, changed from kind of old school Disney to this kind of new age Disney that is very much. And we know living in in the day and age that we live in now, you know, you have to be extra careful about what you say and, and, you know what I mean, and, and being considerate of other people other nationalities other other religions everything uh has to be taken into consideration especially with this uh this outrage culture uh and this cancel culture uh that we live in uh did, nowadays it's you know what's funny that. though but here's the funny yeah, thing about yeah but disney themselves like they've kind of lived through this kind of culture for 
ever. Like you, I mean, like, do you remember back in like the early, like the eighties and the in the nineties when Disney animation was like, uh, like they were still doing Disney animation, like like hand drawn animations or CG and yeah. stuff. Do you remember the the groups, the family groups that they had to deal that they had to go, that literally went frame by frame to make sure, like, you remember, like it said, like, oh, it read that someone wrote the road, word sex in the when the wind, uh, when the wind of Pocahontas, <laughs> yeah. some random, yeah. like, some like, randomness, yeah. Like that, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so <laughs> many things. Yeah, everywhere. so many things from but Disney's like, side to, di- to like deal with you, that. They know, like they can't appeal to absolutely everyone. Like here's, like I mean, they can't make everyone happy all the time. There is something for everyone in Disney, I'd say. But like I, I remember, like there were complaints, like Little Mermaid, like ah, oh, she's too skimpy. Yeah, you know, I mean, like it's, she's not wearing enough. Like there were those complaints too. Like they're always gonna have some complaints. Like they're just, yeah, I know, right? Like, but like what they are doing now, it's. Um, I just guarantee you. Culture, yeah, I, I feel like it's more so like just like being appropriate from a for a family while being um, also very like inclusive. Like they're they're definitely leaning like towards. All of that, like I don't think Disney's gonna get. I have guarantee. I will guarantee you that 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 Disney has probably heard or and seen almost everything that they like throughout. Like I mean, not not just not not just the climate that we've lived in that we live in now, but like just in general. I bet you they've heard and seen and stuff on it. Like uh, yeah, like there was there was a there were there was a there was outcry of uh, the first Aladdin song, uh, Arabian Nights, when that can't when that when that originally changed. They had to they had to change some of the lyrics, and then there was one part that was still in it that people were still pissed off about. So like it was like I mean there's yeah I'm I'm sure that Disney will Disney knows knows accordingly how to take care of all that stuff so yeah, so, yeah. Like they're, they're never going to be perfect with it but they're definitely trying to be within like some changing boundaries and that's since they're not in games so yeah so that's probably another thing since they're not they're pretty much hands off <laughs> in games you know so who knows that's right <laughs> yeah so who knows all right they're like you guys did this in all the video games oh, no. <laughs> like, what do you call this is gaming yeah i don't know anyways <laughs> Okay, cool deal. All right, so we'll uh, we'll I'll give this over to Smitty at this, uh, uh, on the second topic. Uh, Smitty, what do you what do you bring to the table? Okay, so uh, this is this is shit on EA Day. Um, <laughs> I told you that's why I said at the beginning. I was like, I really feel like we're we're really gonna crap on EA today. So, but this is this has to be. I mean, this was absolutely ludicrous to me. So I know that uh, over and here a couple of days ago, I think it was, or sometime this week, uh, they went over. They had EA over in uh, Parliament and um, to talk about uh, the loot boxes and loot box mechanics and all that stuff, right? Uh, I think this is running. Um, so they did that, and and they're talking and they're and they're questioning. This isn't it. This isn't uh, the video. Where the hell's the video? There it is. There we go. So, so they're speaking with this, uh, uh, and I can't. I, I, I should have pulled a damn article up. Um, but they were speaking with her about, uh, um, you know, hey, loot boxes and it being uh, gambling, and you know, this and that. Hold on, let me just get this real quick. It yeah, gam- I remember. I, I read a little bit about that. I read like the headline. I'm just giving you time while you look it up. But I read a little bit about the headline and whether it is or isn't gambling, because I know we've brought up like the loot box discussion before and different places have different gambling laws so under some of them it would be considered some places it wouldn't be considered and did you find the article yet i'm done talking well here's the yeah well <laughs> Yo, do you have you have the article? Because like I just the, the way I look at it is that like of course they're going to say it's not that it's not gambling because that's their that's a that's a source of money. I mean they're they're gonna instead they're gonna exactly. make yeah they're gonna make it they're, they're gonna call it something else which they essentially did. <laughs> So let me let me just I'm gonna read this uh, and I just put the uh, link there and uh, this is from Polygon, uh, but they were saying a senior executive at Electronic Arts told the United Kingdom's Parliament that the company prefers to call loot boxes surprise mechanics and argued that their use in EA games is quite ethical and quite fun and enjoyable to people. <laughs> That is like some of the biggest bullshit. <laughs> my to, to sit there and say, "Well, we like to call them. We like to call them surprise mechanics." It's like, come on, <laughs> fool anybody. That is straight up. And here's my thing: if a, if a grown up wants to spend their money on buying loot boxes and skins and this and that, more power to you. I got no problems with it. The thing is, though, is that you got kids now, and and these kids, you know, they're they're taking credit cards from their 
parents or this and that over, you know what I mean, over this thing that, that again, and, and the biggest issue with it is that for the money that you're paying, you're not guaranteed anything. Mm. And that's where it becomes gambling. Uh, you know, again, I, I could sit down at a casino, you know, go to the casino, sit down in a machine, throw in 20 bucks, and I know that I'm not guaranteed to at least walk away with 20 bucks or something of value other than time and entertainment and whatnot. Or maybe if I get a drink or something like that. Uh, but it, it, it's just, I mean, it is ridiculous. And, and this is where, especially with these bigger corporations, it's like, how dumb do you think people are? To to sit there and and say something ridiculous like oh surprise mechanics that's a lingo I mean they're they're definitely trying really hard no. I mean personally I don't think it is gambling I think there's so many things that are as long as you if, if gambling if you uh, could walk away with nothing which isn't mm-hmm. the case like you always get something so whether or not that something is fair to how much money you're paying for it is completely up to the individual on what they're looking to get and how rare the thing is or how common it is <laughs> but i mean it's the same as a raffle like there you could still walk you you know like if you here here's a raffle put in a dollar you you get a ticket and a candy okay cool that's that's what you bought and then maybe you're gambling if you're going to get more, but you're not putting in additional money beyond that. Like, you're still getting something. Gambling is – and, like, loot boxes, too. Like, even if you get duplicates, then you get it – usually it converts into, like, a currency in the game. So you can't even get the same thing twice because money, you could just – money on money on money on money. Like, you all – yeah, I'll take two $5 bills. I don't mind duplicates, you know? You know the irony <laughs> like, of what you're saying right here? It's like you get one, you know? The irony of what you are saying uh, on here makes sense because I'm in a way I I do in a sort of way I do agree with what you're saying, Sesh. But in a way, at the same time, the irony of all of this is that this discussion is on here because of EA. Because I mean, like, like yeah. uh, I love I love that I love that irony. But the biggest thing is this: like, uh, uh, when you make a when you make uh when you make your loot boxes pay to win. That's when the problem comes, and then that's exactly yeah. what happened with uh with uh with certain games. Uh, it, and I mean, it wasn't just one game. I think the the pre- right. the biggest game was battle was battle uh battlegrounds or whatever uh, oh, yeah, uh battlegrounds two. To earn it yeah. That, right? Well, originally they limited your chances of earning it, so they were forcing you to to pay real money. To get into the uh, uh, to get these loot these loot boxes, like because there was a limit of like you can only do this for two hours. Orig- the original base limit was you can only do this for two hours. The amount of money that you were ga- that you were able to get was 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 ridiculously low, and uh, and to get these heroes that they were wanting originally, like Luke Skywalker's, Darth Vader's, and all that stuff, was like sixty thousand points. So if you didn't want to pay for it, uh, then then it would take you literally eight months to get one character. It was ridiculous so like uh it, so it, it, it was needs to be like uh, yeah minimum wage that needs to be like their yeah. marker for because like i don't think like the the trying to label it as something else something else is good like that's yeah that's skeezy that's not good no, they're, and they're, then like it's almost like gambling but it's so unfair lopsided gambling like well, it's not like other games like my my you know like the the goal for loot boxes for me is always like overwatch everyone that's, is yeah you know, i feel like that's a pretty good example of like what they should be Greedy companies push that. Like the this. biggest problem <laughs> is that mechanics, yeah, the biggest extra greedy but weird, weird wordy lawyers. <laughs> no, the biggest problem is this. Well, first off, EA will never will never say that that it's gambling because uh, if they do, they might they're they're going to be admitting guilt that they, that that they were doing it. So that will that's one thing. Two, uh, like uh, so like the other problem is is that uh, we know that uh, like it's not gambling. It technically isn't. EA made it to uh, to be more like uh, yeah. uh, toward, towards gambling. Gambling. but like uh be, but technically because the, the way i look at it is the same way you look at it it's like a raffle you're getting a raffle to get a chance to get your duplicates like how overwatch does it when it was when it was uh when it was all customized when it was all customized uh uh all uh what's it called uh uh, it wasn't pay to win. It was just basically cosmetic for everything. So yeah. I, I think that like uh, uh, I think like so like I think just for for them to say that it's a surprise mechanic is first off such the douchiest thing that they could ever say to uh, to do <laughs> on, on what they're doing. And then they're, and then what's even worse is that they with a straight face say that that was ethical and fun is like you've got to be freaking kidding me <laughs> because so because like you it's yeah because like you are one of the most. Un- <laughs> 
uneth it is one of the most unethical things that I have seen of the, uh, on how how these uh, these loot these loot boxes have been in the past five years is what y'all did as a company. So like I don't know the nonsense that you're that or the uh, cloud that y'all are on right now to say that y'all are doing fine because like I've seen y'all's FIFA stuff that you did back in like two years ago that was BS. The 2K stuff that happened with NBA 2K. We were, we were, this is just random sports. Uh, sports itself y'all are gambling that is gambling itself that's not there's nothing about cosmetics and stuff like that that you can call it that you can call it quote unquote surprise mechanics so yeah that that's what really pisses me off because they make people they make it they make it look like that we're stupid and then and that's and that's where yeah. and that's and that's where it comes off on of, you know I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, it's one of those stupid <laughs> terms. Like, I, I really don't like it. Like, that's it's a terrible term. It's absolutely, guys, trust us. Trust us. We're so ethical. See this thing? It's ethical. Like, it's literally fun because it's like gambling. That's why gambling is a problem for people because it's fun. It, like, hits that, like, you know, like the, it, it hits the right buttons. And that's what this does, too. Like, that's why it's fun. You, oh, there was such, such sleaze balls. <laughs> oh, Activision did the same thing. Remember with Destiny when they when they brought in their shop, they started putting shit behind a paywall. Mm -hmm. And it was like that's when I was like, mm -mm, I can't no no nay nay, no oh, nay nay. Oh. <laughs> Especially when you're doing things that you know. Nay, nay. It, cosmetics and stuff like that if you want to spend your money on skins great but don't make it don't don't give people an unfair advantage you know because they have money or put things behind these paywalls uh it becomes unfair not only that but then you know these games are targeted towards kids too mm. so you know you got desperate kids going into mom's purse and stealing the credit card or you know whatever whatever the case may be i mean again and 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 i'm not lost on that kind of stuff because we did that, that kind of stupid stuff you know when we were younger too that's how i know you know what i mean it's like oh shit we got to get this is the new the new thing let me just oh 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 let me just grab that and do that and what yeah. what oh where'd that money go um <laughs> you know, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're totally right like, no you're totally, you're totally right and you know what's funny it's like like, come on, one of the biggest games that are out there right now that gets, like, ridiculous amounts of money is Fortnite. And then, like, uh, sure. and, uh, and they, they, their main focus is specifically to those, those, the, uh, uh those crates, those, lo the llama crates and stuff like that. Like, all these, uh, the, the outside, the outside help. Have we heard any problems on, like, on, on, on like, uh, of how fair or unfair that nonsense is when uh, uh for people picking up on the uh on the uh to get what they get as gear wise because like to me i have not i i haven't heard any i mean i'm, I'm legitimately asking because i i really wanted to know because like how are they like uh, because like if that's if that's if because if they're doing something they're, they're clearly doing something right overwatch is doing something right when it comes to those kind of stuff because like no, yeah because you're going to be you're you, yeah but which the only the difference is is just how you have everything set to your state how ea has everything everything set to their standards and how destiny did because i do remember that destiny thing that you were talking about because like uh, i don't play destiny that much but i do remember there was one point that there was a paywall on an expansion that happened that like that was free right and then uh yeah. but but then because of that expansion that was free you weren't able to progress on on a certain unless you paid for something specifically and then uh and then they had to the, they had to retcon it because it was like you were leaving a you're you leaving a disadvantage to people who weren't playing who weren't paying it and i was like that is like so when, when you when you have issues like that then there, there's something wrong there's something clearly wrong with all that yeah so definitely. yeah like it, it's definitely the profit and not even common sense logic doing it it's like they just the they don't even put themselves in the shoes of the gamers they're just like okay yeah we'll just charge this and they're gamers so they're gonna buy it because they want to play for infinity hours and that's all they want so yeah they're gonna buy this stuff because this stuff's cool and it's like no people aren't gonna actually play or do it like that and there's so many other loot box systems out there that work as they are like it, they really are like they've they've found how to do it right like that's why some things catch on and that's I think that's why we see so many loot box systems that are a lot of um, it just cosmetic and it's just a matter of like you can earn it and it's not too impossible to earn very many at a time. No, I mean, it's just you the, could the, shortcut it with money. The but, common yeah, factor is EA. Don't need to. The common factor has been yeah. EA this whole time. I mean, yep. it, it wasn't, it's not, it, it's not that, they, that no one else, they don't know how to do it. It's just that EA is always about, uh, is always about a maximum amount of profit. It's, always yeah. been that way so like uh and like i mean because like it, it's been clear that you can do it but like but they never do they never do it right 
Yeah, like they're just they're trying to like they see the system and like that's you know that's the formula and that's what works and they're just trying to change it just for profit and it's not working and they keep trying. Mm-hmm. Good, yeah, that's I don't know. That's it's it, it it really angers me, especially like how stupid the, the, does EA make like think of us? Think of us as a consumer to say, oh no, they're. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. That, that other point is that people are still buying the games. They're still doing it, and that's why it continues to happen because there's no repercussions for them doing it. Even you know, there's a social outrage, this and that. But then people are still paying. They're still buying them. They're still dumping money in the loot boxes. So how do you go about like what is like I guess a real solution to especially with a, a sorry I, I've got this lozenger in here. Uh, <laughs> so. How do you go about, you know, uh, especially with a corporation where their bottom line is absolutely going to be their profits? So how do we as gamers, you know, what can we do uh, to combat this, to get them to stop doing something like this? I mean, the only way, the only way that they will do some sort of levels of change, because like I think, I think a good, a good example of that was also Battlefront Two was the was people stop people stop purchasing it. It's just like not getting, uh, just not not answer with your wallet i mean it's never gonna unfortunately it's never gonna happen because there's a lot of people because like the there's you got the outside people that may not the, the you have the casual gamer crowd that's also uh and i'm not pointing any blame to them it's just people that say oh it's a star wars game let me go i'm gonna pick this up because it's a star wars game and then uh and then just pick it uh, uh, and then just buy it not knowingly like this is how their systems are systems work uh but like a gamer who knows how this nonsense is and how the process is and stuff like what they're trying to deal with uh, is more aware but like overall like the only way we can do it is just is i mean uh, is to actively just not pay with your, uh uh not not talk with your wallet i mean that, that that's mm-hmm. That's the saddest. It's it's the hardest thing to do, but at the same, yeah, well, it, so well, it's, it's, it's be the so easiest. tough for them to make that choice because it's like, hey, we're too poor to buy these things. We don't feel like there's value in it to spend this money for it, and then that's tough for a company to be like, oh, we want to appeal to you. So like, I get it, but at the same time, like, yo, you guys are getting so many complaints, and there's so many other systems like this that are similar that still make money out there that you don't have to be that greedy and then you Hmm. will still make more if you're less greedy you will make more money like it's an insane concept that a lot of companies like just don't grasp but if you make something a little bit cheaper you're widening you're widening your market and they're just like completely ignoring that outside market like even like i'd say like very like even like very intense gamers like they still like don't they're still not happy about this kind of thing like even Hmm. if you know you you play a lot and you got the income for it too which is a huge factor like you could love a game all you want, but you're only going to have what you have for income. Right. And they they really could open more doors and make a lot more money, I think, and open up to a bigger market. Like if they're gonna, if they would just be a little bit less greedy about it, they could be so much more greedy. Well, they could like just or or have it. I mean, that's the thing, like uh, with the with the internet shit, right? Net neutrality. We know going down that slippery slope. Oh, you know, the companies are not going to do anything. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna have a conscious we all know that's bullshit <laughs> we already know they've already tried to do shit in the past yeah. that's why we had that neutrality in the first place <laughs> know, so right? it, it, you know, it, it, the same thing goes for with loot boxes and this and that they'll keep pushing and pushing and pushing so the wider you open it up the more you know the, the, they're gonna they're gonna come up they're gonna be greedier they're gonna they're gonna become and I'm not gonna say necessarily malicious, um, but there's not gonna be any consumer thought into these uh, types of decisions and how to they will milk it for everything that it's worth and that to me is the scariest part because once you start going down that slope it's hard to go back up you know mm. well it's not like I mean it's not like uh, it's not like EA makes a game uh, out of love as much as they used to you know I mean like when you think about it, like I mean and I'm not saying like EA uh, EA has the back as the backbone because because they, because they, they're all about the maximum. It's all about maximum profit through EA. Now that's not saying anything about all the su- the subsidiaries that EA owns, like you know, 
uh, like uh, like the people who did Mass Effect and uh, and stuff like that. But it's just that the biggest point is that like they, their factors is that they do want to they do want to make a good game, but they have these insane deadlines to get to the expectations of what their investors are towards EA to uh, to get to get these done. And then uh, on top of that, now is because since how microtransactions have been like so prevalent in the past ten years, ten to fifteen years now, it's like now they're now they're bi- they're building. Uh, games kind of around that on top of like for long besides besides the other factors of a good story or a good uh or a good like you know gameplay good mechanics and stuff like that because i mean that i mean and it's really like i said and then i don't i hate to point the blame on it but it really mostly is mostly electronic arts has had this 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 ongoing issue of like you know trying to get trying to set these right it's like you can you easily can just stop being so freaking greedy towards all this but it's not but it's uh, uh but it's just something that they that it always comes back to you know so uh, yeah, yeah i mean, I mean it's I, unfortunate. I, i'm, I'm uh, i mean pessimistic right now but i'm hoping that like it's definitely just like an upper management change like they just there's just some people there you know that are pushing these kinds of ideas and those kinds of things and they're really They've been proven time and time after again that like, there's going to be a lot of pushback on them. Once those people are gone, once they actually address this issue and they put like a new take, somebody, somebody, or maybe some people there instead, making these calls and trying to steer in these directions, like they're going to be better off. I would I, love I think to that's talk totally to. A hope. I think it's yeah. you know to- not entirely the culture there, but there's definitely it's definitely higher ups getting a a hand and a say in how they want to do some things and some of the ideas like and they keep on pushing for it and it's i'm sure it's the same people that have been involved for a while and like they're just it's not succeeding and they still try because the games still do make money they still do okay they're just not seeing how much money they're not going to be able to make because they're still pushing the same greedy ideas i would love to like talk to an xea guy or something like that you know because like i would be like the one thing it's like like you know it, it, off the record on it like just to see like upper management and stuff like I, I would love to know like how 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 things work i've always kind of always wondered about it but I might got a guy. I mean, I don't know if he'll talk on the <laughs> record. He might talk privately. Yeah. I said X E A. Yeah, you know. He yeah. And he quit. So. You don't want to mess around with that nonsense. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Yeah. We have a comment uh, from Indust uh, from the live stream. He says, "Problem is that we as middle-aged gamers feel like we're a much bigger market and influence on the gaming big business model. We're really only like two percent compared to mobile gamers and younger gamers who are raised in the climate of paywalled games." I agree with that one hundred percent. I totally agree with it too. Uh, I don't necessarily will say that it was also with. I mean, like. Like, uh, I mean, come on. There's a difference between between console gamers and mobile uh, mobile gamers. I mean, like, because like for me, in the eyes of like, I mean, uh, like, uh, 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 if you're like uh, particular with mobile, you know that those that 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 the that you're going to have to pay to uh to uh pay to pay to play this is like most of the because most of their sense is going to be a freemium game console gamer is just as much as like how you how there's pc players and there's, there's console players like uh, or back in the day with those pc players and console players like there was oh, there was a separation of that because they know uh you weren't getting the same maximum amount of output towards that now when they try to do the same stuff that they're trying to do uh now like i will agree on the fact that we're the middle age we're the middle age class and we are not the we are not the majority of the voice itself and i totally understand that but like uh but overall though too i think that people uh people who do see that i mean because because i mean everyone unanimously agrees what ea does is bs i mean like because hence look at look at what battlefront 2 goes back to battlefront 2 and stuff that 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 is not it is not acceptable on what they're on what they were trying what they were trying to pull over uh, pull over to the community you know so like uh so i think that like yeah uh the level the amount of people that they that they're catering to is not for the gamer that knows this nonsense it's it's more towards casual it's more it's more towards hey my mom wants uh my mom i I told my mom i wanted this game but uh so she's going to get the game and uh and then once it once it comes out she because she has no idea what's in it and then she's going uh she's going to cater she's going to cater to that and then when that stuff happens then you're just going to go go with the flow with it and that's why i say it's going to be literally impossible to to say 
stop stop giving them money because you you because I know it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, it, it's still they're still making money. They're just not seeing how much money they could be making, and like they almost yeah. don't care because they feel like this thing becomes more profitable as a singularity thing if we do it this way. Right. You know. Well, no. no like no. it's like if you spend ten dollars, make a hundred bucks. Cool. Like that's really great. I'm just going to keep doing that. But if you spend ten dollars and charge like fifty bucks, make you know fifteen hundred. I rather do that, and most game companies are doing it that way. Right. Yeah, and, and you know, again, why why change something when when I know it's working? When people are spending the money, and there are those other projections and those possibilities. But if no way it's going to stop me from doing what I'm doing right now, I'm probably not going to stop. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for the statement too. That's a good. That was a good point. Uh-huh. I will appreciate that. Uh, okay. So we'll need to cut it. Well, we can't say cut it short. Either. That was actually probably <laughs> the best topic <laughs> right now. With it. Uh, but I, but I won't deny that. We'll cut. Th- well, yeah. We'll probably cut a little bit. Your time a little short on this one this time, Sesh. So, but uh, but definitely. Uh, but your yours yours going to be the third seat. So uh, you can you can do. Uh, let's do your topic here. Okay, yeah, mine's, I mean, we could probably segue it and then talk more about, like, what the gaming space is like right now, because apparently uh, there is a patent on no load times for the PS5. So both the PS5 and the Scarlet are going to be solid-state drives, so, like, obviously, like, this is going to be much quicker overall, Mm -hmm. but apparently there's a patent for it, and, like, there's a specific way that they're adding to their technology to make it be quicker, and it's funny because they actually bring up Spider-Man, which is the game I'm like currently currently streaming now, which I am streaming again now. It's been a month, but I am streaming mm-hmm. Spider-Man again. And they actually use Spider-Man as a test. And I, I felt this one because I sat there and like they I, I noticed like, oh, hey, there's load screens. I remember these. It's been a minute. <laughs> all the games I play, like they don't really have them. Like it's very they, they make it very seamless with mm-hmm. both, most games now. They find the ways to cheat in there, and then just technology is so much better. But, you know, like we know like they weren't at E3 this year, but they – so they used Spider-Man, um, and they did do this. They did do a demonstration there um, for investors and all that. And it was Spider-Man on the PS4 and a load screen that took, like, eight seconds, right? So noticeable. This is only eight seconds, but noticeable. And they did it on the PS5, and it took less than one second. So that is a big overhaul, and that is a, a big change mm-hmm. with, like, actual legitimate just load times, no, you know, seamlessly making it work in between transitioning from different areas like most games do now. And I, I was just thinking and marveling a little bit of that about, like, the kind of gaming space we're in now. So I just want to take a moment to appreciate <laughs> wow, like load times are literally like they're just they're so going away and there's so few games where we actually have to like deal with that. Like I I, I remember no, no, I mean, no. it, Spider-Man one's a good example. Like I, it was the first time I felt a load time in a very long time with the games I play. I just love the fact that Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to say Smitty? I was just saying she clearly didn't play Anthem. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Low times, it's not internet related at all. But yes, also I did not play Anthem. <laughs> yes, but like, oh god, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, the uh, you know it's funny that it's like uh, when you think about when I think about the statement of them like saying that they pat- patented like you know load time like uh like yeah. seamless load times is insane time to me just thinking about like yeah. where like where where it was at like back in the days to what it is now i mean there is always going to be load time on the cd base uh cd base but i guess now since most things are going towards digital i can kind of understand why uh, uh uh whether whether they're kind of aiming towards but uh but yeah like to say that like we've gone along it's been a long it's been a long road to get to that uh, to get where we're at, where we are, and uh, for where Sony is just like just killing it with that kind of level of technology, I kind of want to know like how it's even possible to patent something like that, you know? Because it's like you would think yeah. that you would try to make a, you think it would be like, oh, okay, all you have to do it's a process. All you have to do is this. It's not like it's using proprietary Sony equipment or Sony right. software well, to do it. You know, like, it's like, like wow. And the way it reads it, which is, it's going to be patented. I mean, they, so it seems like they already do have a patent on it. Mm-hmm. Um, like their methods of load time is already something that they, they have a thing on. And this is just adding to it because they've improved it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's pr- that's pretty cool. Weird, Super interesting. I mean, I feel like I mean, can you? So they're trying to patent the load time, or they not a load time, but the process uh, for loading the procedure, so like the tech behind. Yeah, like the the processing, the reading the disk, the reading the hard drive. Like you know, because PS Five is going to be solid state. So like, there's a process. The way their processors are handling it is apparently patented, and they're adding to that for the PS Five because they've apparently had like some kind of breakthrough where like they've added and changed the way it does it. So it's faster. It's not just the hardware is better. Yeah. Like they've actually, there's a process involved. that's very, very techy that this article does not go into and is blowing my mind. So, but the, the, the text better, isn't that, that's, that's all you need, right? That's technology is when things get better. That's how it works. Right. <laughs> you know, what's funny when I was thinking about that, it was like the other night about PS five. It's like, like graphical graphic wise i don't think we're going to see much of a difference now at this point now it's going to because like i think we're at a point where we're kind of peaking where where like uh like you know how how things are being made towards it you can make it nicer you can make it a little bit refreshed you can make it like smoother i will say uh definitely but like to say like you remember when we when you first saw the super nintendo and you switched up to nintendo 64 uh, that kind of advancement of graphics, or the PS2 to the PS PS3, you know that kind of water thing. Looks it's like, so real, guys. yeah, it's yeah, down. yeah, exactly. Or like, <laughs> yeah, that that kind of stuff. So like, I think now it's like the five is just going to be more like you know, just more refined, refined uh, abilities and things that you can do towards your software to make it the best uh inclusive like you know gaming experience that that one would do because like the biggest thing that i will be so pissed about if uh if five hap- if five goes by is that it's not backwards compatible with four because like uh, so sad. there will be I wish. there was absolutely no reason this time around like i can understand why three to four was a little bit of a problem because of the yeah. be- because of the four <laughs> yeah because of the format because of the format but that doesn't excuse them with like digital content that you got off of PSN or like or like you know, like for instance Scott Pilgrim versus the world like why can't we not port that over to a to a more modern system like because uh, that was a digital only release but like uh yeah so that that's the stuff that i'm really more wor- that, that i'm really like more worried about because like when you did a when you did a system advancement you uh back in the day you didn't need to worry about that nonsense but now since you have an online account and you've downloaded yeah. stuff from that that stuff yeah. you want your library to be moving over to it yeah so, honestly i yeah. feel like that is how to win the console wars is yeah. the backwards compatibility because there's just such a fantastic stance of a catalog that they mm. especially sony has like five systems worth like that's fantastic like that's just such a great way to do it is that backwards compatibility because yeah. like no people don't want to be buying these things every single time and now for a couple of generations we've had these accounts so we should be able to just reach out and get what we've already bought via mm-hmm. having an account like that i think that really will sell it and i think it really does Add so much more value to the system. And we know that Xbox Scarlet is going to be backwards compatible, so I think they'd be shooting themselves in the foot. Not, and I know yep. that I think Xbox One was as well. Uh, uh, one wasn't a hundred percent. Yeah, one wasn't a hundred percent to the 360, but it was. Uh, but uh, well, uh, they they've been working on their backwards catalog since like you know season, year two of the Xbox One. So now it's it's able to do a lot. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's compatible with original Xbox games, but see, but that's the thing though. I don't. There's a certain level of backwards compatibility where you just you just shouldn't care. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. not to be not uh, not uh, not to be kind of a, like to that level, but like really, to be frank, it's like I don't think the mo- uh, the, the 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 mass consensus would be like, oh, okay, I have an Xbox One, I want to play an Xbox game. You know, like mm-hmm. I want to play Jade Empire on the from the original Xbox and play that on my Xbox One. There is a certain level where it's like you know the three. There are certain 360 games I can understand that you're wanting to do it because uh, this this year or 
this this uh, this generation of consoles is like the consoles is like the generation of HD remakes and stuff like that. So like uh, so you know there's a there's a level of there's certain games that you're wanting to that you're wanting to bring again and wanting to play again on the new on the newer deal. But at the same time, it's like you, to Sesh's point, it's like there's no reason for us to like why do we want to move like why are we paying for a game that we paid for a long time ago and just uh, just so we could play it on the newer the newer systems. So they, yeah, they, they, they I mean, I, I think there is like a, a level of games like that. Yeah, like they should have like maybe all all the way back, but I think they should do it like um, like with some computer programs. Like there is one in particular that I'm thinking of. I, I'm not going to say it yet, but <laughs> um, what they do is like they'll let you buy one. It's not only about like how many computers you could put it on, but they'll give you a certain number of like free upgrades. So, like, say, like, just three. So, like, let's say, you know, like, I bought bought something for PS4 or even, like, PS3, then maybe that holds true till PS6. And then after that one comes out, if I still want it, then I could buy it. Like, just having it be more than, like, one system backwards. Because there are so many people that have been playing these games for such a long time. And honestly, like... As a non-parent who wants to be a parent, when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to want my kids to play, like, the old stuff originally. Like, they, they might actually, like, go back and do it. Like, I did that with movies. Mm. Um, like, there there's a lot of, like, people that want to do that kind of stuff for their kids. They want to start them off with, like, you know, classic Mario games and then let them graduate and play the new ones at the same, you know, as they grow a little bit older, too. But I, I think that's a really great way to do it. And I think there's definitely going to be we're like right in that generation of like people doing that now. And regardless, yeah, just if we want to buy each of these things, like it sucks that to buy all the games all over again. Like you start them off with DuckTales. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then then dark, <laughs> then dark wing duck, then tailspin. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you do. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like that's you know a lot of people do that. Like that's how we consume media. I mean, that's why like there are a lot of new like Star Wars fans that you know started on the episodes, but there's still so many like just those kids that like didn't see Star Wars in the theaters, but they started with like the original trilogy. Like, mm. that, like that will be something that happens, and it's something. It's not a huge market, but it's going to be a it's a nice market where like they'll still be able to make some money off of. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good. Wow. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're actually at a we're actually at a good point right there. So, is there anything on the chat, uh, Smitty, that we, that uh, we should point out? Uh, no. Somebody said something about uh, Cowboy said something about original Rampage on Xbox One X. That is an oh, yeah. underrated game. That is Horrible. such an underrated game. Yes. Man, yeah. I, that was the game I had for N sixty four. Like that old that Rampage game. That was the one that came with it that we had. Wasn't that in arcades too, right? Yeah, yeah. Rampa- Rampage World Tour. Yeah, it's like from arcades. <laughs> Tourist trap. Yeah, that's right. Oh God, yes, it was tourist. Tra- like that. Like I remember, like uh, when that when I was like, uh, what was it, middle school, and then just saw the uh, Cruise in USA arcade. That was just played for hours. I like I played that oh, for a man. long time too. It's ridiculous. Like or Alien versus Predator. I uh, remember the uh, arcade cabinet for that, and I'm like, oh. So good, so good. Oh, there's so many good arcade games uh, back then. <laughs> man, we could do a whole thing a segment on that. So I will say that. But, <laughs> I know that uh, so Cowboy from chat wanted to. Uh, he said something about uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I know that we talked about it. Yeah. Last week as well. I don't know. I know that there's been some, and I kind of like. I haven't watched the videos, but I did see that there was some. Uh, a little bit of drama with somebody as far as with that game. I didn't look into it though. Really? Um, necessarily with the game. It was. Um, I remember seeing it on YouTube, and it ended up backfiring on the person. Oh, uh, I have a feeling I know what that might be about. What was it? I mean, if I had to get, if I had to guess, um, they did state that you can make uh, trans characters in the game, so I would imagine. People had to be mad about that, even though, like, I don't know why it's not, know. you know. I don't, I don't, I don't I think, think it was. I wonder if this character goes home and sleeps with a man or a woman or a bot or whatever. Yeah. You know, who? What? What? I mean, somebody, somebody asked hey, me some, three. Did somebody asked somebody a question about that. Like, what is Gears Five? Question? Yeah, it was yeah, about no, Gears Five. Had, like the two dudes. Like when you watch a trailer, like I was pretty sure they were a thing. I don't think it was probably that because I think I mean like to that because like uh, yeah because like like from what you were saying to me that was Gears Five. Someone asked about like his uh 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 what's his name the main guy's sexual orientation and he's like 
is like, why does that even matter? It's like, it's like that's not even a that's not even a question that like you would want to put like like for for like what the game is. Like, why would you care about what like what if if uh, if it's a guy guy or girl? Like, it's really weird. So like he just said, if you wanted to get that, that kind of story, go to Overwatch because Overwatch Overwatch goes by that kind of like uh let's uh, goes goes that deep into it. So, but yeah, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find what you're saying because like, uh, yeah, I don't think it was it couldn't be a that could be a big deal uh, with it because I mean. That was the case. I mean, Witcher Three would have been a big issue from all that nonsense. I mean, there's definitely people that like to complain. Oh, well, there about probably those is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll keep, I'll take a look into it. Yeah, there was a YouTube video about it, and I haven't. I didn't get the time to take a look at it. I'm trying to trying to scroll and and find <laughs> it. Um, okay. I know that they also real quick. Uh, we'll get back to it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, with Keanu Reeves. Uh, <laughs> the breathtaking. Uh, Okay, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll stop we'll we'll brilliant. stop it from here and then we'll, we can talk more about it uh, after after we're yeah, done. Like, like, like I mentioned with Cyberpunk, I know I'm going to be talking about that a lot. I'm very excited for it, so I'm it actually... will come up again and again. <laughs> oh yeah! All right, folks, this is uh, episode number thirteen on CFG Gamecast. Thank you for listening and thank you for being uh, active uh, uh, active on the chats on it. We always want uh, always want a good discussion with you as the uh, uh, you the viewer. Uh, you can always check us out. Uh, check out Smitty's awesome content when he's not sick at Smitty two four four seven and. Uh, also check out Sesh's uh, Sesh Sesh is actually kind of being a little bit more stable now so go check review yeah. Sesh out for any their, uh, their Spider-Man run and uh, right now we're going to be doing and then uh, check out uh uh, Mr. CFG himself, Davis Green, over at CFG Games for some other uh, for for variety gaming content goodness. Uh, so also next week we will be off. Uh, I will be on a, uh, I will be on assignment doing a uh, doing a, an event, and uh, I think it's a good time to have a week off for for everybody. So we're going to come back the week after and uh, and go for uh, go for go forward from there. So uh, this is Davis signing off. Y'all have a great day.